Not again! Hi, I'm Doug and you're watching Travels and Travails. Today we're going to install the Orbital Machine Works shock absorber kit on our Casita trailer that we purchased from Perfect Casita. To install this kit, you don't, it doesn't require any drilling, it's all bolt-on and it comes with all the necessary bolt and hardware and detailed instructions. In addition, the quality of the pieces is very good. Um, they're powder coated. It's all made in America, including the shock absorbers. Okay, the tools for this project are tools that many people will have at home, but it's basically just sockets, wrenches, um, a light helps, gives you a little more to see what you're doing, and either a pair of channel locks or a large uh, crescent wrench to tighten the lower shock absorber mount. The instructions do come with a detailed list of the sockets and wrenches you'll need. And so on this project, they recommend using Loctite or something similar on the bolt threads just to help prevent them from working loose. So if you have to buy Loctite, get the red Loctite. That's for larger bolts like in this project. But if you happen to have the blue on hand, um, I would still use that. That would be the next best choice. On this project, like any, it's safety first. Um, first thing I did was I chalked the wheels of the trailer to make sure it couldn't move. Um, I actually put jack stands under it to support it just to be on the safe side, even though we're not taking the wheels off. Um, didn't want something to shift or move. And also when I put on the um, shock bracket that goes on the axle, I only took out one axle bolt at a time. So there was always one in place, so there's no way the axle could shift. Also I did lower the tongue jack as low as it would go after I disconnected it from the car. That way it lifted the back of the trailer up as high as possible to give more clearance to work under there. Okay, to do the installation, um, probably the biggest challenge was trying to loosen the four bolts and nuts that hold the uh, axle onto the trailer frame. So that you need either a big breaker bar or strong arms or I actually doubled up a couple of wrenches, old mechanics trick. Um, after that, I just followed the instructions, um, mounted the shock bracket on the back of the axle where the brake attaches. That was the first step. The second step was to attach the bracket to the axle itself. And then the third step is to put the upper shock bracket and shock assembly, bolt that onto the axle bracket. Um, the instructions do call, give you a torque specification for the nuts and bolts. Um, unfortunately, it's you can't hardly get a torque wrench in there, so you have to use your best judgment unless you want to do more disassembly.